All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Hot Horse Toys Presents. This is the Hot Toys 16 Marty McFly from Back to the Future 3. Uh, like many of you, huge Back to the Future fan here, so I cannot wait to look at this guy. Here is the Marty box. Back to the Future that looks... Don't think that's the figure. It looks more like a... Art sign, Marty McFly, MS616. We got the to the feature logo. Side as well, part three, which is, I think that's the official logo with the uh, horses and stuff. So, yeah, kind of cool. And then the back. All right. Perfect way to travel through time. Hands. Pull that off. Ooh, hoverboard. Uh, these hands are really not good. These are plasticky as hell. I mean, this does not. This, this looks unfinished. This looks like it was a rush job. I mean, look at the. How they painted the hands. Oh, look at that seam line right here. Oh, this is horrible. I mean, the hands are just not good. Oh, this is. Look at this. There's no separation. Oh, all right, this is not good. Look at that. That's horrible. There's no separation at all. Oh, hoverboard is cool as shit, though. Let's get your <laughs> neck strap and hoverboard. Oh, they couldn't put Mattel, Mattel on here. That's pretty funny. Here's your poncho. You have your bandana. You do have quite a lot of other interesting accessories. You've got the the door that he uses to hit Biff with and a uh, mad dog tannin with at the end of the movie where he's wearing it under the uh, poncho. Get the letter, Marty, the letter. The letter from Western Union of Doc telling him he needs to go back to 1885. Well, he didn't tell him to go back to 1885. He said, don't come, but telling him that he is in 1885 after he goes to Purple Lightning. That's kind of cool. Here is the Frisbee Far Out Pies from the, uh, the town festival scene, dance scene. This is their walkie talkie, which is kind of cool. He uses a talk to talk too. This pistol, this Colt, the gun that won the West. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, this is the one solid thing, paint at no articulation. They really rushed this. Usually, it's not like that. And his gunslinger belt. The gun that fights Mad Dog, and, and you know, of course, if you lose, I'm taking it back. Yeah, this was very rushed because of the skin tone, the paint job on the skin tone. This looks plasticky as hell. It looks better under the naked eye than it is showing the camera, but it really does look plasticky. And the expression just seems kind of weird. I mean, I guess, all right, maybe from this angle, that's Michael J. Fox right here. But straight on, I don't see it. This is another near, this is another miss fail. The hat being glued into the head for what? 
That doesn't. Oh, it's not good. So, that's a no no. Tailoring though is very good. Oh, uh, here's the attack of the plasticky hands again. Alright, look, unless you are in an absolute Back to the Future you, you know, fan or you're collecting and everything Back to the Future where you want all three movies, um, I, I don't know about this one, guys. It looks kinda ass. Like, this is shit. Like, this is not good. Tailoring good. I do like the, the outfit of. The sort of outfit of shame is McFly. Okay, double joint and knees. I do like the boots. And the turn. Careful when you're doing that, you don't want to bend the. Oh, these are actual cowboy boots that they put in there. So that's kind of cool. Alright, let's look at this. Alright guys. Ah, uh, I don't really know what to do with this figure in terms of posing. Right now I just have him... Um, like that scene where he's fighting Mad Dog and where he's like getting ready to draw his gun. He's like, draw, no, you first. Um, the reason I'm saying I'm having a hard time reviewing this figure is because honestly, I think Hot Toys really dropped the ball on this one. I don't think the quality is there. Uh, I think the head sculpt looks a little bit black. And it's just overall, the hand, like the skin tone is too plasticky. It's just, it's just not, I don't know what they're doing. I'm probably a rush figure, too many things under the docket. And this one was pushed out, but yeah, not exactly my favorite one that I've seen so far. So I think if you are a somebody who needs, who buys all the Back to the Future, then you're going to need this the complete set, but if you're just, like I'm a big fan, but I don't want this. I'm going to wait for Back to the Future 2 to reissue. So, but hopefully this at least tells people who are interested what can, what works and what doesn't. And you can decide for yourself. <clears throat> so I wanted to have him do a frisbee far out. But the problem is the right hands that they give you can't really throw as opposed to throwing the plate. And oddly enough, I was going to have him hold his walkie-talkie in the other hand, but the left hand that they give you is an open, relaxed hand and one closed fist and a fist for a, holding something that is not the walkie-talkie so you really can't do that much with it um so yeah but again poses really well so hopefully this video kind of helps everyone to decide um you know the die hard if you have everything from back to the future then you have to you know you'll need this to complete your set but um, if, if you're not that hardcore, then this might be a pass because it is, like I said, it is not the best, um, I mean, it's alright, it's just not the best figure around, you know? Um, so, that is totally up to you to decide, depending on what works for you, so, anyway guys, this has been presented by... Hogwarts Toys, make sure you hit up Ray on eBay, Facebook, and Instagram for all your collecting needs, and see you guys in the next video.